Prepare to swing back into action as we reveal the first look at the amazing Spider-Man 3, starring the return of Andrew Garfield as the iconic web slinger. <laughs> of this beloved Spider-Man iteration have been waiting for this moment for a long time and their patience is about to be rewarded. Mark Webb has said that he is eager to work with Garfield again and Garfield is also really excited to bring a darker and a more serious take on the Spider-Man mythos to the screen if given the chance. So let's untangle the tangled web. Fans have long demanded that Andrew Garfield's incarnation of the famous web slinger appear in a third Amazing Spider-Man film. Garfield's film was the least popular with critics and audiences for years as it was sandwiched between Tobey Maguire's beloved Spider-Man and Tom Holland's Spider-Man in the MCU. However, there has been a cultural reassessment of both Garfield's portrayal of the webhead and the films themselves as time has passed. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, released by Sony, marked the end of the Spider-Man franchise before the character was rebooted as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Originally intended to launch a new cinematic universe, the planned sequels and spin-off films such as The Sinister Six were unfortunately cancelled, leaving fans and the lead actor Andrew Garfield disheartened by the turn of events. However, the continued interest and support from fans for Garfield's portrayal of Spider-Man may eventually pave the way for the revival of the previously planned follow-up. This could be especially significant for Sony's own universe, which includes films like Venom and Morbius, which revealed mixed critical reception but were successful at the box office. The inclusion of a popular Spider-Man actor like Garfield could provide a much-needed boost in support for Sony's superhero universe. Who was involved in The Amazing Spider-Man 3? Andrew Garfield, who portrayed Spider-Man and director Mark Webb, were both confirmed to return for The Amazing Spider-Man 3. Webb shared that this film would mark his final directorial involvement in the Spider-Man franchise. Nonetheless, he would continue to serve as a producer and creative consultant for future films in the series. The original writing team of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, consisting of Alex Kurtzman, Roberto Orki, and Jeff Pinkner, was initially announced to return for the sequel. However, Orki had to step away from the project to write and direct Star Trek Beyond, but he maintained his producer credits. Chris Cooper, who portrayed Norm Osborn in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, expressed that he would have had a significant role in The Amazing Spider-Man 3. Similarly, Paul Giamatti confirmed in an interview that he would have returned as Rhino for the third film. Dennis Leary, who played Captain Stacy in the first film, and Shailene Woodley, who was cast as Mary Jane Watson but had her scenes cut in the second film, were also expected to make appearances in the third installment. Recently, Andrew Garfield says that he was open to The Amazing Spider-Man 3, after Andrew Garfield expressed his willingness to participate in another Peter Parker reboot, a growing fan moment emerged advocating for it. Fans were ecstatic to see Garfield return in Spider-Man No Way Home and now believe he deserves a third standalone film. While Tom Holland's portrayal of Spider-Man has already received a trilogy, Garfield is the only one among the three actors who hasn't had his own complete trilogy. In the wake of No Way Home, the hashtag Hashtag The Amazing Spider-Man 3 gained significant popularity. Andrew Garfield expresses deep gratitude for the opportunity to address unfinished storylines in his portrayal of Peter Parker in Spider-Man No Way Home. He expresses his love for the character and appreciation for working alongside talented actors, an exceptional director, and the collaboration between Marvel and Sony. Garfield describes the experience as joyful and a sense of closure for his version of Peter. Having left many unanswered questions in his previous portrayal, he found healing by revisiting the character. Additionally, he emphasizes his support for Tom Holland's Peter Parker, acknowledging the importance of allowing his character to complete his own trilogy without causing any distractions or detractions. What was The Amazing Spider-Man 3 about? Norman Osborn is the name most commonly associated with the Green Goblin alter ego, and while others have taken up the mantle, he is usually the first. However, the Green Goblin in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was Norman's son, Harry, who then became the second Green Goblin after his father in the comics. Following Emma Stone's Gwen Stacy's death at the hands of the Green Goblin, The Amazing Spider-Man 3 was supposed to center on Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker as he struggled to recover and move on. According to director Mark Webb in an interview with Den of Geek, Norman Osborn was intended to be the primary villain in The Amazing Spider-Man 3. In the second film, Norman died due to an unidentified genetic illness that also affected his son, Harry. Desperate to find a cure, Harry used Oscorp's spider venom, which instead worsened his condition and transformed him into Green Goblin. Norman would have had to be resurrected as the new Goblin in The Amazing Spider-Man 3 in order to return. 
The Amazing Spider-Man films portrayed Oscorp as a supervillain factory, with all villains in the universe spawned by an incident at Oscorp. While Rhino did not become a lizard or fall into a vat of electric eels, Oscorp did break him out of prison and give him a mechanical suit. In an interview with Collider, Paul Giamatti stated that he would return for the third film as Alexei Tsitsevich, the abominable Rhino. It's safe to say that the character of Mary Jane Watson would have to be introduced at some point. It's unclear whether Shailene Woodley would return to play her role. She filmed scenes for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but they were cut to focus on Peter and Emma Stone's relationship, known as Gwen Stacy's. Sony's original plans for Spider-Man may not necessarily be completely abandoned, but rather adjusted to fit the current narrative. Since Spider-Man's integration into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Sony has successfully launched several Marvel movies focused on villains such as Morbius, led by Jared Leto, and the upcoming Kraven the Hunter. The Venom films have also been particularly successful. These movies could serve as a foundation for introducing Spidey's adversaries in a potential revival for The Amazing Spider-Man 3, maybe featuring Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker. The post credit scene in the Venom Let There Be Carnage, which hints at a connection between Venom and Spider-Man, adds to the excitement surrounding the possibility of Tom Hardy's Venom crossing paths with Garfield's Peter Parker. The introduction of the multiverse in No Way Home and the inclusion of three different Spider-Man versions present numerous opportunities for Sony Marvel films that exist outside the confines of the MCU. Whether or not Sony decides to pursue The Amazing Spider-Man 3 remains to be seen as it depends on their assessment of its viability. However, Andrew Garfield's successful return in Spider-Man No Way Home suggests that the once abandoned superhero film may have been given a rare opportunity for a revival, albeit with a shift in direction from its original path. The reports fueling the rumors also revealed why Andrew Garfield did not return for The Amazing Spider-Man 3. According to reports, Sony CEO Kaz Hirai planned to announce the film at an event. The silent star, however, was unable to attend the event due to illness. According to reports, the studio cancelled The Amazing Spider-Man 3. However, nothing has been confirmed as to why the actor did not appear in the series' third installment, which was already planned. However, the past is behind us and fans are eagerly anticipating the official announcement of The Amazing Spider-Man 3. The highly anticipated film is expected to draw audiences back to theatres, generating excitement and engagement. That's all there is to it for the time being. Please ensure that you like and enjoy our video. Please share your thoughts and opinions with us in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the newest news and reviews on future films from us and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. We hope to see you in the next one. Until then, peace.